This has been an amazing season and one more event will decide four more champions. This is also the last video I'm gonna do for a while. A huge thank you to my sponsor, the letter F. Yeah, that letter F. Five versus six in the finals on Archimedes. Blue won this first match even with Red's double climb. One more win and they move on. This is a close second match as 1310 plays just enough defense to slow 222 down. Blue has one up top with two bots on level two. Red needs this double climb to. Unfortunate Fs for this kind of match. Congrats to Blue for- Oh, how the f Yep, this is why it's best two out of three. Blue takes the advantage at a sandstorm, but 1310's defense slows Blue Alliance scoring, so Red takes the lead. 30 seconds left, and endgame could make the difference. Red's double climb helps, but the real hero here is defense. One versus two in finals is with the advantage for Red. 1816, the Green Machine went after 50 50 in the first match, but have their eyes set on Wild staying this time. Meanwhile, 4607 fills up cargo unimpeded as time ticks into yellow with just a sliver of a lead for blue. It could be anyone's match. Turns out that sliver was all blue needed to get to match 3. 1816 goes back to defending 4607 as 111 fills up the rocket. 1796 has a part literally explode off their robot, but it doesn't shake them up. Blue has the lead on the board as the Hab climbs mirror each other. Who ya got? The Blue Alliance wins it 100 to 92! Holy crap, this division is lopsided. 1114 goes number one and picks 2056 to form the dangerous duo. 2767 goes second and picks 987. 18 division wins and 4 champs wins and 2 hall of fame banners between them all. Everyone pack up and go home, this is the real Einstein finals here. Wait, where's the dangerous duo? They lost in semi-finals. Only insane defense can stop Symbotics. Oh, 1073 played insane defense? Including a denial of 2 robots in endgame? And an F in the tiebreaker? So a sleeper alliance with that good D against Strike Force and High Rollers. If Strike Force moves on, I feel they would go all the way again. Even though they're phenomenal scorers, they mix it up and play defense against 35 38. But they should have put their heads on a swivel because 195 sure did. They waste no time filling all the holes on the field. 1073 plays their insane defense on 987 and help the Red Alliance get a lead that they hold on to. Thus, 1073's good D ends the chance for the three-peat. Who got that good D? I got that good D! One versus three and the three seed has the yellow card. Oh sweet yellow card. I have missed you. Now get out of here because we've seen too many of Plus, the three seed also has Bert, a 22-year-old team that has yet to make an Einstein's appearance. But this could be the year. It comes down to a tiebreaker just like many of the other fields. Blue has the advantage coming at a sandstorm, but don't sleep on the one seed. 862 delivers the block of the week, delivering a hit that rips off 3461's bumper. The flying toasters try to shake it off and they're dead. A 3 on 2 and a final tiebreaker doesn't go well for the two working bots. But for Bert, it means they get a date with Einsteins. 4 versus 2 and the final tiebreaker for Darwin. A whole bunch of Michigan teams with a Dutch team on blue and an Israeli team on red. 217 is the only team to see an Einstein victory and they have two. It was over a decade ago, but still, banners. 2337 plays bot on bot defense for red, while 4481 plays zone defense for blue. Another close match that will come down to endgame. Ladies and gentlemen, your scores are in. A hush falls over the crowd. Your winner!
and your division champion, the Blue. Six versus eight on Tesla, with 610 being the only world champ out of the bunch. 346 shut Red down on defense in the first match, and they're looking to do the same again. 54-01 scores too quick for Red to keep up with, and Blue takes a commanding lead. All three on for Red as 346 goes head over wheels and 5401 goes full send. Same deal as Houston, 15 matches is too many. Give me the best matchups from the round robin, please. Archimedes vs Tesla to start off a round robin. Tesla takes the lead to start, but Red ain't worried. They get past the defense to score, but it's anyone's match. One up high for red, all down low for blue. Scores tallied up and it's... A tie? You know, any other playoff match, this would have been a win for blue. But apparently, nah. Darwin versus Kiri and Darwin has a yellow card. Kiri, on the other hand, has that good D. 217 ain't skirt as they slowly but surely maneuver around the force teams blocking. A nail biter as Kiri puts Darwin on the ropes. 1073 gets a taste of their own medicine as 4481 blocks them from getting back onto the hab. It's almost like they know what's gonna happen as a three point penalty is all the difference you need sometimes. <laughs> Daly versus Carson as mm, Bart still vies for their chance at a win on Einstein's. They have the lead out of Sandstorm. 2052 plays defense against both Bird and 4003. Red still has the lead, but Blue is creeping up on them. Final 30 seconds. It's a 1 2 3 up for Red. 111 would need to get onto level 2 to beat the buzzer by rolling off a of cargo or something. Huh. Alright, now pause. I have no idea who won this match. The tournament score says that Daly won it. The Blue Alliance score says Carson won it. I've checked back all the videos and all the Twitch streams. I still don't know who won it. I'm pretty sure it was Carson coming out on top because Daly had the goose egg in the win column. Anyway, unpause. And after all that finagling, we get number one Archimedes in blue versus the number two Darwin in red. Strike that. Reverse it. And Darwin still has that yellow card. Hmm. A championship game at Ford Field where officiating might decide the outcome. Why does that sound so familiar? Digressing back to the nerd stuff. These two alliances played against each other in semis match 4 with Archimedes coming out on top, but now they're playing for a championship banner. This is the first Einstein appearance for Red, but the ninth for 217, and they sure want to make the most of it after falling to Strike Force's repeat last year. They keep pace with Runny Mead, McQuanago Bears, and Kelt X. A double climb on each side, and it could go either way. Wow, penalties decided it? Sound familiar? <clears throat> One more win for a fairy tale ending. The Blue Alliance comes out of Sandstorm four points ahead, but they'll take it. One point lead for Blue as 4481 plays just enough defense to trip up 930. Endgame will decide it. A double climb for Red could... Well, if Keltex can get up... F, what's that? F, that's it! Both worlds ended in two last year, but this year they both need tiebreakers. Red takes the lead out of Sandstorm, but Blue makes it competitive. 4481 again slows up 930 as this match goes neck and neck. 3707 keeps on scoring that cargo as they take the lead with 30 seconds left. 217 goes up to. Bring out your own! Bring out your own! 
Double, triple, and a level two for red. Just one up on top for blue. Looks like we'll crown a new world. Oh, how the Now I'll be real with you here. I didn't watch the last two matches live. Dean came in speech after match one, just droned on for too long, so I gave up on the stream. I went to church Saturday night, without a doubt, believing that the Thunder Chickens blew another Einstein's for the second straight year. I mean, hell, none of the teams on the other side had even been to Einstein's. This was a Cinderella story. The miracle on ice. The carpet. The biggest snubs honestly came from Curie. I predicted that this would be 2056's year. They got beat by that good D. And I thought 2767 would 3 P. They got beat by that good D. Then I thought the good D would win. But they missed out on finals by a half a game. Honestly though, this was a fantastic season and teams got creative as always to carry out the mission. Even if you didn't make it this far, I really and truly hope you had fun. So as we close out 2019, remember, gracious in victory, professional in defeat. Amen. It is the blue Darwin Alliance by one point in our I sign final tiebreaker. Congratulations to your Darwin Blue Alliance, including teams 3707, 217, 4481, and 1218. Congratulations as well to our Red Archimedes Finalist Alliance, team 5406, 930, 1310, and 4004. You're still here? The season's over. You, you, you can leave. Oh, but before you leave, uh, yes, down here, there's a button that looks like a thumbs up. Click that, please. That'd be nice. And right next to it, there's a button that says uh, subscribe across. Uh, that's nice to click too. And there's a, a bell button right next to that one. I'd also recommend clicking that one. Uh, see you all in 2020, I guess. Uh, we'll see maybe something before that.